Well, hello, ladies and gents. Pepper Belly here, bringing you guys some more Interstellar Marines. This time, I'm gonna be talking about the recent update that literally came out. Um, like I'm not even joking. Like five minutes ago, it was the newest edition, and they added some pretty cool stuff. They revised the AI. They made the game just generally more improved. They they uh, also improved the AI in the sense that they now detect light sources better. So if you're hiding in the shadows being stealthy, which can now be done thanks to the added suppressors to the assault rifle and the submachine gun, you're able to actually be able to play in a stealth-like manner and complete the missions pretty damn badass-like, feeling really cool going through the environments, killing dudes quietly, and it's pretty sick. They also revised the sounds for the weapons. They sound a lot better now. Uh, a little bit, well, I'm not going to say a lot better. They sound better, so they're not quite the way they were before. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. I didn't cover the previous update before this, which basically added all this new stuff where they have co-op and single player. So you have operations, you have survival, you have mainland, stronghold, nuclear, uh, yeah, nucleus, and they all have their own objectives. So you got survival, which is infiltrate the colony and activate all power nodes while surviving against both sentry and defective combat training robots. You got elimination, which is basically a terrorist hunt style stuff. So if you guys ever played uh, Rainbow Six, you know, games like that, where basically you're just going around killing dudes that's the point that's all you got to do and it's like it feels awesome mainland i was playing that like not, uh, a couple seconds ago just kind of demoing the before i like you know started recording it's pretty sick it was really really cool you got operations with survival same kind of concept of surviving elimination and nucleus if you guys remember the video i uploaded a long time ago showcasing what uh the the co-op demo it was basically like a, a pax east they had it was it pax east or pax seattle i don't remember it doesn't really matter Point is they had a PAX demo, and that's basically this mission revised and improved significantly with some new assets and, like, you know, it's just, it's better. So, it's really cool. We're going to go ahead and jump in the mainland now, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, now we have the submachine gun, which looks pretty much the same, right? So, I mean, it sounds a little bit different now, so I'm going to go ahead and just start firing it. You can hear it sounds a little bit more like a submachine gun, right? It's a little bit more, uh... Punchy. It sounds like what a submachine gun would sound like, and if you fire it in semi-automatic, even though you can't select semi-auto, that'd be nice. I would love to be able to select semi-auto, that'd be pretty sick, but you can't. <laughs> but if you mean if you just tap fire it, it doesn't sound- you can kind of hear it blending the audio. And that's one problem I never really liked about game audio for a lot of games. And what I'm referring to is the fact that if I'm tap firing, but I hold it for a little bit too long, it'll sound like I'm firing two rounds. Even though only one round fires, if that makes any sense. So that's the submachine gun, and now you have the assault rifle. Sounds way better, honestly. The assault rifle sound was a little bit weak before, it wasn't, didn't really sound like an actual weapon. Now it sounds definitely better. <laughs> there's there's no denying that. I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh, they need to really improve the sounds and make them sound a lot more realistic. Right now, it's perfectly fine, acceptable. There's a lot more things, like, especially how they revise it, it's fine as is. This is good. All I want now is server rollback and tactical reloads, and then implement that stuff, and we're well on our way to a freaking awesome game when it's, uh, as it moves forward in development. But, let's talk about the silencers now. And by silencers, I mean suppressors. Why is it silencers? Curse you, gaming industry, for like getting that word in my head. It's a suppressor. You can't silence sounds, you suppress them. So, here we go. Sounds pretty fucking cool. The suppressors in this game sound amazing. It really does sound like it's actually muffling and expelling gas the way it would. And you can see the smoke coming out the tip of the barrel. It's sick. All right, and going out there and killing stuff feels great. So put the suppressor on the submachine gun as well. And this one sounds amazing as well. So let's go ahead and start continuing forward and actually kind of demoing this stuff. So here we are in Manland. It's pretty... I'm playing on realistic, in case you haven't noticed it's at the top. So it is going to be a little bit harder because you can die like instantly. Oh shit. Well, 
that headshot wasn't enough to drop him instantly, but uh, let's hope he doesn't go around. I don't know if he actually goes and gets reinforcements, considering I just shot him and he just took off running. Oh god. Holy shit. They're just, like, charging me right now. There's one guy on the fucking roof. Uh... Okay. This is the first time I've actually- well, actually, it's not the first time I've ran this. I just said I did it a few minutes ago, but that was a quick little demo. I haven't actually... I noticed the- the CTR robots- CTR robots. CTRs. Combat training robots. It's like, oh shit. Oh, and there I am. Fuck. <laughs> Caught in the reload. God damn it. This is why tactical reloads are important. And I would love to see them in the game. So much fucking time doing a full reload when you don't need to, but whatever. Kim has said, which is like lead developer and founder, he, yeah, he, he knows. He's well aware that tactical reloads need to be implemented. <laughs> like, but God, do I need to see it? Like, I, I want it so badly. Tactical reloads and speed reloads are very, very important. Um, especially in tactical games like this, where it means all the difference between life and death. Oh my God. So realistic is hard, all right? You get shot like two or three times and you're dead. That's actually awesome. I fucking love that. Plus this really is more geared towards co-op play. So if I was actually playing this right now with a, you know, a group of friends, about four of us, even just two of us, the odds of success would be a lot higher because we'd be able to cover a lot more angles. So me getting, you know, fucked over by that guy coming out like from a, a, an odd angle that I just I had no idea he was there wouldn't really happen. On the upside, these CTRs die a lot faster, which is what I was trying to say earlier before I got rudely interrupted by a bullet to the face. Oh my god, does he just spawn there? Because he wasn't there a second ago, right? Like we, were, we were just, I don't know. I don't know if he's literally just spawning out of thin air right at that fucking spot, but that's what it feels like because I didn't see him there. Where'd he come from? Man, this game is unforgiving and that's awesome. Unless, of course, he is literally spawning out of thin air, then that's just complete bullshit. But if he's actually managing to sneak up on me in this really awkward way and killing me... But see, like, before the problem I had with this weapon, or with this weapon, with this game, one thing that really bugged me... Making sure that asshole doesn't come up again... Was the- oh shit, there he is. Okay, was the amount of rounds it took to drop a CTR at first. You go through rounds really quickly in this game. That's one thing I noticed when playing online or playing against, especially against CTRs, when there's a whole bunch of them charging you and you have to deal with them all at once. The one thing I noticed is that it's incredibly easy to just empty magazines and feel like those rounds weren't really doing anything. And that's a problem. One game I can compare this to in terms of when your rounds actually feel like they last a while, and even though they're completely different types of games, would be Counter-Strike. If you play Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you can have a 30-round magazine, and that magazine will last you a long time in a firefight. Like, you feel like you're in total control of each round that comes out of that barrel. And in this game, it's very easy just to squeeze and hose off a whole bunch of rounds, even though you don't intend to do that at all. I think it has to do with the fact that some rounds aren't exactly lethal and now it's been remedied before you'd be like shooting a ctr in the chest like you know six times and nothing right now it's like i can hit him what seems like two two rounds of the chest with okay so three and they'll drop Going to be very careful. There's 40 of these fucking guys, but yeah. So that's the update. There's co-op. I mean, actually, if we we'll go we'll go demonstrate some co-op. We'll go online multiplayer co-op. There's not a lot of people, so we're gonna find uh, like no games. 
We'll we'll do we'll join this European one just for shits and gigs. Okay, so where is everyone? They're already killing some dudes. Trying to put the suppressor on. So I'd imagine if I actually use my flashlight, I'd be easier to get, sp or it'd be easier for the CTRs to actually spot me. That's really cool how they did that. And of course, super rollback would be lovely. Because, God, that's the one thing I kept like saying every time I talked to them. I'd be like, server rollback guys, come on, any day now. It needs to be added. Because delayed rounds are the bane of video games, quite simply. Being unable to like, land your shots. One shot to the head. Game feels a lot more badass. If you guys watched my Far Cry 4 video I uploaded the other day, I feel like I'm playing that. There's something about literally roaming through an environment aggressively and quickly and dispatching of every threat in the area. It just feels fucking awesome. It's probably one of the most badass experiences you can have. Because no one hears it, right? You're just going in there and you're trying to uh, eliminate all the targets as quickly as possible without alerting anyone else. And there's a whole bunch of- and there's a whole group of them. What you're trying to do is kill them all very quickly. Need to open door. What door? Oh. <laughs> probably the door in real life. He's probably got like some guy like ringing like Jehovah Witnesses coming to him like Do you want to hear about Jesus? Ooh. No, I'm trying to kill fucking robots, man. God. I'm trying to become the best of the best. Killing machine unlike any other. But I like how moving slower now actually makes a difference. Except for that. Oh shit. Can I revive him? I can revive him. There we go. I'm gonna hide under here for a second and reload. Conduct the full reload. See? Oh god. Server rollback. Server rollback. I'm gonna just keep repeating that because it needs to be done. Like, look at that. It's like, almost, like a, a, I don't know, it's not a huge delay, but it's significant enough, especially how the vast majority of players are in Europe. Conduct our entry here. Oh my god, that took a lot of rounds. And I got hit pretty good. You can see, it's easier to survive when you got teammates. Yay! No kills on my end, even though I shot them first. <laughs> There's a CTR right over there. It's gone. I don't know where it went. Again, server rollback. So this, <laughs> let's keep saying it over and over again, it needs to be added. And tactical reloads. And leaning. There's a lot of things that need to be added, man. This game is still really early in development. So, don't be like, yo, this game is terrible. Because, I mean, even, I've said it multiple times. In its current state, even now, this game is fucking amazing. And I, in my last video where I was talking about, like, um, where I was saying it was disappointingly underrated. 
even though it's limited in how it, you know, what, what it features content-wise, if you compare it to games like Takedown Red Saber, which got a significant amount of crowdfunding, was released, and was probably the worst game I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, just simply that. Right now, this game trumps it. Like, it always has. And it's like, it just stomps all over it and takes a dump in its mouth because even with its limited content right now, it works. You know, it's, it plays nicely. Obviously, eventually it's, it'll need some more optimization in the long run, but point is, it works. Where is this guy? Oh my god, server, roll back! Ah. Uh. But yeah. I want to wrap up the video, guys. This is update 15. New AI. New suppressors, new audio sounds. Various other improvements. You can check out the list on their forum. Actually, I'll post the patch notes in the description of this video so you can see it. There's only one guy left. Come on, where is he? Let's lure him with our celebratory uh, gunfire into the sky. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think he's coming. I think we're just scaring that CTR. Actually, you know what? I have an idea of where he might be. Let us test this. Because nobody could... Would you look at that? I called it. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out. My name's been Pepperbelly, and I'll see you guys on the next one.